Hello everyone. Let's um, deal with this problem very quickly. Remember, the question says we should get the three solutions. We are to get the three solutions, right? Now, to get the three solutions, what do we do? Here is what we are going to do. First of all, we have x to the power of 3 equals 1. But if I put power of 3 here, it does not change the thing. Because 1 to the power of 3 is the same as 1 and not 3. Because 1 to the power of 3 is 1 times 1 times 1. 1 times 1 is 1 times the next one and it's still 1. So we have not changed anything. Now bring this to the left. So we have x to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 equals 0. Now from here, what will I do? I can apply this, right? a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. If you have this, this is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so this is what um we have and i'm going to express this in this form our a now is x so i write x minus b which is one now in bracket then a squared that will now be x squared plus a b which will be x times one and it is x then plus b squared which is one squared and is still one then we close this bracket and equate to zero now what do i do we can now apply zero product rule so that x minus one is equal to zero or x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. I know someone will be thinking, when do we say this? We say that either of this is equal to 0 because when you multiply two numbers and you get 0, it either means that either of the numbers is 0 or both of them are 0. That's why we are saying that this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So we can proceed. Now open this bracket. X minus 1 is 0. Meaning that X is equal to 0 plus 1. And our X is equal to 1. Now we have the real solution to this problem. Okay. Now to continue. We go over to this right. X squared plus X plus 1 equals 0. We use the formula for this, which is x. Okay, the formula is x equal to, okay, then start afresh. The formula is x equals minus b plus or minus, then square root of b squared minus 4ac, then over 2 times a. Now, from this quadratic equation, what is your a, b, and c? Our A is 1, our B is 1, and our C is also 1. So everything is 1, we put into the formula. Let's go. X will now be minus 1, plus or minus. Then we have B squared, which will be 1 squared, minus 4, times 1, times 1. Because A, C is... Um, 1 times 1, then divide by 2 times 1. Our x now is minus 1, plus or minus. We have square root of 1 squared, right? So 1 squared is 1, minus 4 times 1 times 1 will give 4. Then we divide this by 2, because 2 times 1 is 2. Remember, we will still continue because we are looking for the value of x, not just a value of x, but the three solutions that would 
be coming out of the equation, right? Now, x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus my, um, 1 minus 3 is minus 3. Then we divide by 2. Okay? Now, our x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3 times square root of negative 1. That is, picking out the negative. So that if we want, we can press our calculator to get the value of root 3. Now, our x from here is minus 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 is i. So we write i, then write square root of 3. Because I do not want to, I don't want to get the decimal value for root 3. So we divide this by 2. Now I'm going to finish it on this side very quickly. Okay, so we had um, x equal to minus 1 plus or minus, we have i square root of 3 over 2. Now this means that x is equal to minus 1 plus i square root of 3 over 2 or minus 1 minus i square root of 3 over 2. Now we bring the three solutions together and um, the first one is x equals 1. That's our x1. Now our x2 is equal to minus 1 plus i root 3. We have i root 3 divided by 2. And then our x3 is equal to minus 1 minus i root 3. Then we divide this. We divide this by 2. These are the three solutions that um, will satisfy the equation. But mind you, it is only equation 1 that is the real solution. The other solutions are complex solutions. Okay, most of the times they might not ask you to find the, the, the complex solution. So you will find only the real solution. But the question says that we are to find the three solutions, just like we can find here. So that is the more reason why we went this far to get all the solutions. Thank you for watching. If you love this video, subscribe to my channel and um, give me a thumb up. Remember, we do this we, we solve problems like this every now and then. So subscribe for more of this.